Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Atlas on the Radio Man 03, and it is awesome to have you along. How much detail is in Mr. Potts? Yeah, Mr. Potts. Hope everyone's doing great. I am doing fantastic. Squatter's on my shoulder because we're going to be setting sail today. I took your advice, and I went ahead and I painted the ship. The ship is painted up. We got our cyan, burgundy, blackberry color going on through the whole thing, except for the floor. The floor is the uh, the brown. It's just brown. Uh, I just darkened the wood up a little bit. And here, you know what I notice about these stairs is when you come off these stairs, it jettisons you forward. You need to be very careful coming off of these stairs uh, down to the next deck. It wants to push you forward. You know, you're not exactly like on the stairs. I've noticed that. Um, what else I do? The mass, of course, the sails are painted. This one here doesn't show the paint. If I remember right, we have to launch first, and then maybe it will? I don't know. Uh, this one was weird last time, too, I think. Uh, I did take your advice, which was good advice, I thought. I'd never thought about doing this before. The smithy was down here. with the, We still have our chests, and we still have our larders down here for all the food and stuff. We've got, our, of course, our uh, tannery over there, too. Uh, one bed. Here's all the ammunition. The cannonballs have been loaded into the crate, so they are ready to rock and roll as well. I should have pulled this out a little further. Sometimes you access the stairs. I guess I don't have these stairs painted here. And I don't have the bottom of the deck painted either. Well, it's it's okay. We're, we'll we'll get to it. The main thing is, is most of it is done. I, I, I did do... I've been on for about an hour and a half by myself just trying to get things ready. Water's good to go. Uh, and so what I did was I put the smithy in here. And look at this. I did not know you could paint the chess. That's so cool. You could paint a bunch of different things. Like the table here. I painted that. And uh, this chest here as well. Oh, looks like I missed a wall. Oh, man. How did I do that? Because it was dark when I was out here doing this. I missed an entire wall. An entire wall. Jeez, man. I tell you. Let's go grab the paintbrushes. We'll fix that up real quick. And uh, 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 there we go. And th then we'll uh, we'll be just about ready to get s to set sail. I've got everybody uh, on the ship that's going with us. Uh, so that's all set. Oh, there's one other thing I want to make sure I do, and I don't forget to do. Let's grab that and that. I need to make sure. Oh, and I also have everybody on the cannons uh, dressed properly in the correct attire as well. I want to come on here and check the chest really quick. Uh, I don't see anything in there that I absolutely have to have. Or in here. We've got everything pretty much on the other ship as well, so we're good to go there. I do want to check out the bookshelf, though. And see what we have for where we're going. L... We're going to be heading down into the I's and the J's. So I thought I'd grab them. If we have any. I just need to start picking them up. I don't really stop to do that most of the time. Oh my goodness. Nothing in I or J, huh? Well, it means we'll have to grab some while we're down there. And then we'll have reason. Oh, there's a J8. Uh, 2380 gold. Okay. J, K, K. Uh, what's this one here? I Oh, I-10. Okay, so that's exactly where I wanted to go was I-10. First. That's the first place I want to go. So that's a fine treasure map. It's worth 4,700 gold. It's quality of 9.1. I think that would be worth and fun to try out. We've never really done anything other than some of the common ones here. And so we've got two. We have two we could take with us. Ooh, exciting. Uh, I don't have a health kit in there. All right, so I think I've got everything I need on Revenge. I think she's ready to rock and roll. She looks pretty good sitting there with the mass all painted and stuff. I think it looks good. I did burgundy sails at the top and the bottom, and then I did a, a, a cyan seal or sail in the middle. All right, so we've got a couple of these now, which is very good. And we'll grab some more. I put a bookshelf in here because it was recommended. The things that I think I forgot, you guys remembered for me. Let me take a look here. We have a bookshelf. Alloy. We, sh we had that downstairs in a chest. I just had not put it back in the uh, resource chest yet. Uh, a spare helm, a bucket, and a trough. So all those things are on the ship now. Some of them are not set up yet because we just don't need them yet. Uh, the animals all have food on them right now, so they're good. This, of course, the cabin has to be changed up a little bit. But this is our cabin, and then it was suggested that this be kind of our work cabin where we could bring things in, use the smithy. I have this stuff in the smithy. 
Uh, this chest has got a couple of things, a bed and some chairs. This chest is going to be, well, here we go, extra. That's the, There's the extra wheel, the bucket, the trough, and so on and so forth. So let's get this wall painted here real quick, too. Oh, believable, man. I found another one that I didn't do right either. It's just that that's the thing about painting in the dark. you got to be careful. Oh, I didn't do this at all. I see. Okay, I accidentally hit it with the paint. That's all. Okay. That's fine. Those little hooks can be brown. It's no big deal. I can uh, change those around later, but that's... That's better. That's better. Okay, beautiful. All right, so let me finish uh, running around here, grabbing a few more things. I think I'm pretty much ready to go. Next time you see me, we should be on the sea and sailing down, uh, you know, heading to heading south for a little bit here. Uh, where's that stuff at? There it is. All right, I'll be right back. So the sexton says I can either do the stars or the sun. So... Where's it going? There it is. Can't see it. Don't know which way it's going. You guys say the more I get, the longer the day is. I think it's up to seven or something. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Got it. I don't know how many that is for me. Oh, five. Okay, five. Okay, so I've got five. Six. Is it way up here? Oh, there it is. Seven? I can go more. I can go more, huh? Eight? You say it's up. I can actually have this for an entire day. Nine? Where you go? Where you going? Uh-oh. Oh. Should I stop at ten? I'll go one more. I'll go one more. One more. Let's make it even. Oh. Oh, wow. Huh. Nice. So it's, it's as far as I go. All right. Now, somebody else said if I hold down H, there's the mini-map, upper left-hand corner. Hold down H. The mini-map is in the upper left-hand corner. Thank you so much. You guys, I tell you, if you're new to the channel and you're here because of Atlas, check out the comments. Really good players in here on the comments always helping the radio out always the sextant buff is nice i like kind of I, I do like seeing how fast i'm going i think that's pretty cool look at that i didn't fall off the ladder <laughs> i know i know he can be taught he can be taught all right let's put this sextant away we keep this right up here behind us in case we need it i've got our health kit on us i have a squatter on us uh we're gonna head out we just literally had a storm end. Just ended. I've got food. I have water. I have uh, our uh, Mr. Potts and Squatter. I got Kodiak. I got Cyclone. I got Tsunami. We've got sources, resources in our chest. We have some gold in our chest for the crew. Uh, we're going to leave Jaded Alcove for a little bit. That looks really nice, huh? I love that. we got a little town going on starting back there. By the way, I was thinking to myself, over here... Uh, at the end of where our tower is, if we were to extend that out a little further and bring this dock out this way like we have it here, we could put the galleon in here next to this one here. We're going to build the galleon next. And then what we could do is we could build a small wharf out there as well with some buildings and stuff on it. I thought that might be kind of cool. We have like zero wind here. Zero. <laughs> we need to go to the southwest. Basically almost straight ahead of us here. Okay, it's going to take me a little while to get moving here, so let me do that. I'll bring you back. Obviously, it's going to be quite a journey to get down there. I would guess in real time, maybe 30 to 40 minutes, especially with the fact that we have no wind. Just bring everything around here. Uh-huh, just like a so. We got a nice fast crew on the sails. It's, it looks pretty good. I think the ship looks pretty good. We're painted up. Looks nice. Revenge on the back there. You can see it very well. I left a lot of the metal as metal because I just really like how they have it. It looks like this, you know, it's like somebody took a hammer to, to iron and tin and stuff and just smashed it down. It's pretty cool. I like how it looks. I think if we pop the sails a little bit, we should be good to kind of get a little bit of a swing here so we don't run into the back of the bounty. Mm-hmm. And like a so. 
Like that. And off we go. All right, I will meet you when I see you next. We are off. We are setting sail. And away we go. Yeah, my main sail did not paint for some reason. You can see there's some cyan dye on it, but for some reason it is not showing up. I wonder if I were to log out and log back in, if that wouldn't uh, fix that up. I'm trying to remember how I got that to work last time. <sighs> you know, I think... I couldn't get the sail to spin in the the uh, the paintbrush or the paint gun screen. I couldn't get it to the paintbrush screen. I couldn't get it to turn, and I think that's the problem. We'll have to give it another try. Unfortunately, it's not looking quite right. Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be hurting for wind. Now we're kind of southeast would be perfect for us, but we're not going southeast. We need to go kind of south southwest, and the wind is not going to be as generous to us with this. Oh, actually, you know what? Well, let's see. We need to be going. Well, we could actually go a little bit south first, and then we'll start making our turn. How's that sound? Then we'll have a little bit of speed as we go here. Ships of the damned. I will avoid them. If we have to fight, we will, but if I don't have to, I don't want to. We've got our guys in the back, which you said if I hit C, and then hit V, I could make them fire, or they will fire on their own. I could probably take all those little guys out, huh? That's okay. Let's, uh, let's make our first journey, hopefully, eventless. Hopefully. I did not put the cargo container on or the diving platform on yet because we were up next to the dock. We'll put it on and we'll slide back into the dock and see if we even get the storage container to the dock because of, uh, you know, the size of revenge here. Another thing that you brought to my attention, I noticed it up on the screen, but I've never tried it before, and that is if I hit O while I'm standing at the helm, It'll turn the lanterns on the ship, and it'll turn them off. Very nice and handy, especially when you want to, you know, click the lights on real fast. But that looks pretty cool, huh? Looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with uh, the revenge here. She's looking pretty good. All right, um, I'm just now making our way out of our tile. And the wind is still, of course, a fight. And we need to be headed west. And if we go west, we're really going to have zero wind pretty much at all. So... I'm going to have to travel this direction for a little bit, and then we'll backtrack a little bit, too. So I've noticed there's tons of flotsam in the water, and I've gone past several sunken treasure ships just in an effort. I've only got so much time, of course, to play, so I'm trying to get to where I'm going. Uh, but I noticed the bottom right-hand side, it says, Enhanced Exploration Skills with the Sextant and Infinite Flotsam Visibility. Pretty cool. So there's that on here. I don't know if it increases the... Uh, the sunken ships, but I think I've gone by five or six now that have been out here. One just kind of disappeared as I got towards it, but uh, it seems like I can see that stuff and there's more of it available to me with the sextant buff as well. We just crossed tiles and the ocean got rougher. Oh, we got a storm too. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. I'm kind of glad to see it because it makes the wind change direction. What I do like is although it's storming, we're not necessarily going to have cyclones. <clears throat> that seems to have been reduced, which is a good thing, I think. Uh, but the wind is pretty unpredictable out here. It just moves all over the place. So you got to constantly be correcting yourself as you sail along. Uh, but that's okay. Hopefully this is going to benefit us in the long run and uh, help us out. Because we need to start heading west here pretty quick. And right now... The wind is not uh, helpful when it comes to going west. Well, look at that. We're almost up to 15 knots. We've been going between 6 and 9 this whole way. This is much, much faster. Topsy-turvy sea. 
Big waves. 16 knots. Oh my gosh. We're flying. We're just flying so fast now. The wind has gone back to almost where it was before the storm. <laughs> it literally went all the way around. And now it's right back to where we were when we first launched. Almost. It's improved a little bit. I do need to go a little more to the southwest. So it's 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 good it's better than it was let's put it that way we made up a little bit of ground as we were uh, going through the storm too so we're still headed for like i-10 j8 and j9 is what you guys said too would be a good ones for us to hit so maybe we'll be out here for a little while i don't know it all depends on how much time i have each day for you know sailing and stuff like that i do know i want to get to a, a desert island uh, j8 and j9 are actually much closer than i-10 now that i look at it Maybe what we'll do is we'll stop off in this next one here and see what it looks like, what one of the islands looks like. Maybe K-10 will be something for us to look at. I don't know. I don't know. I'll come back. Well, we have arrived down in the tens. This is K-10. I don't see any islands anywhere near where we are just yet. Uh, once we see one, though, I think I'm going to go ahead and land anchor and see what uh, the, the island has to offer. And then, of course, what I was looking for is just a couple more tiles away here to the west. Yeah, I-10 is over there. So, yeah, let's see what K-10 has on it. It may have something we need. It may have absolutely nothing at all. Uh, it does look like desert, possibly. But then again, we're quite a ways away. I do see an island uh, up here ahead of us. We'll head for it, and then we'll uh, give it a shot and see what's on there. Uh, my record time is kind of getting short and I got started late and now we've been sailing so I'm gonna I want to jump on an island with you guys at least a little bit and do some exploring before we call it an episode so let's do that I won't come back until we get to the island and we're anchored and ready to to go in and see what's going on this does not have the look of the desert I'm gonna keep going the desert should have the the kind of the cloudier brown water too this is just more of what we have already been we're living in it basically uh, so we need to keep going to the west, which is going to take me a little while longer to get to. So uh, I'll be back. But I thought I'd bring you back and let you know that, yeah, we've... I don't know that we're going to fight. There may be something new on here we haven't seen, possibly. But uh, I think uh, we'll be better off heading off to another tile. Oh, man. <sighs> I got too close. Stock have taken a little bit of a little damage. Hoping that when it pops up, it'll help me turn. But you can see I take a little more damage there. I'm stuck on a rock. Hmm. I wonder. Can I break the rock? No. Hmm. Oh, this is... This is harder to hit. This ladder seems to be a little bit longer and sits weird, so it doesn't like you to grab hold of it. Alright, so we've got... I've got to figure a way to... Now, you guys have always said, just back straight up a little bit, and that'll help. So we got... There's a little more damage right there. <laughs> Maybe if I hit S and turn a little bit, this will help. We've just got to get us around that rock a little bit, and then I should be able to get out of here. We're turning, so that's a good thing. Now we should be able to get out of here. And yes. Ah, we hit another one. Just got to keep turning. There we go. Oh, wrong button. Get out of there. We did not take enough damage to have to stop and fix the ship. Okay, there we go. Too close to shore. Way too close to shore. We've actually been on an island very similar to this one in the past. Alright, I'm back on track. I'll be back. 
This should be desert. The water has turned that kind of brownish color. This should be desert islands now. We're in J10. We just crossed through the border. Uh, so this is where I'm going to be looking for our first island to jump onto. I was kind of hoping it would switch to this, and it did when we jumped in here. So this is great. We're in the desert now. It's going to be hotter, but we should start finding some different resources too. So let me find an island, get us there, anchor, and we'll jump off. And holy moly, mother of Rocky. Holy cow. That's the third time now, just recently, that I've had to deal with ships of the damned. Ay, ay, ay. They just all of a sudden started turning up everywhere. I keep having to go around them. I should just drive, just sail right through them, but I don't. I go around. I'm a chicken. <laughs> all right. We should be good now to kind of sail around them a little bit here. All right. Uh, I should be back in just a second. We'll find an island. Welcome back. Of course, uh, sun's coming up, but there's a fog event. Uh, we have arrived at a desert island. We've not set foot on it yet. We're in J10. We are right there. Mm-hmm. Right here. So, I figure I've, I'm, I'm beyond my record time today. But let's get on here and see if we can find anything of interest. Newing Lodge Refuge. Better good. Newing Lodge Refuge. The first thing I did notice was that we have... Oh. Wait a minute. Hold, a, hold, a, hold the phone here just a second. Got things on me I didn't want on me. I've got a pick. I brought some extra, I made extra tools to keep handy for us, so if for some reason something happens, we have them. Uh, where did I put them? There's this one here, and a pickaxe right there. I also made an extra one of these, and an extra one of those. Yes, I did. Inventory. Swap out our shirt. There we go. Alright, now... Uh, there is a shark just off the shore here. Just off the shore. Again, like I said, there, I've, I found buzzards. There are buzzards on here. It looks like we got some form of salt, too. Uh, killed a cobra from the edge of the ship. What kind of wood do we have here? Aged wooden roots. Okay, so there's a different kind of thatch, too. Jute. Okay, so jute we already have. Let's see what this is. This is a flake salt. Okay. I didn't have to do it that way, but I did do it that way. And then what do we have for here? Is this got a different kind of metal in it? Copper. Okay, so we're in we're in copper. Hmm. I was kind of hoping we might bump into tin, but that doesn't look like it's going to be the case. I thought we'd take Tsunami out and try her just to do some kind of reconnaissance here a little bit. Wild chili. Ooh, really? Okay, so let's see. Uh, I got a chili seed off of that. That's nice. We don't have that. Wild chili. I'm going to drop it. And there's some uh, chili seeds. Okay, let's get our sickle on the hot bar. I thought I'd grab a buzzard since we're here. Because I think they're just amazing. That's why. There we go. That's jute. And the little marigold flowers or poppies look like... I guess those are the wild chili, huh? Oh, nice. Okay, so let's grab this. Let's drop the seeds on you. We can actually drop that, and we can drop that, that, and that. And we'll make sure we grab some when we have uh, our, our good friend there, Kodiak, in here with his cart. What do we have here? Bilberries. Okay, so bilberries as well. Looking for metal nodes also. Here's a different kind of tree. What's this one? Aged wooden roots, okay. Just checking to see if we've got anything of interest here. Matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I can tell that... She's already seems to be having trouble running. 
Oh, okay, we got crocs. Crocodiles. She's hungry. I saved you, turtle. I saved you. Uh, I'm gonna drop that and drop that. And she's got some meat on her now. Very good. Hmm. I'm not seeing any metal nodes around the the current location here. Uh, what about these guys here? What are these guys? Roots. Oh, really? Oh, no kidding. So I bet, I'll bet money that our guy Kodiak there can get a whole bunch of roots off of that. So there's another thatch. So we don't have a new metal, but we do have a different kind of thatch. We've got some uh, different food so far. The chili is a good thing to find. There's another crock up there. Let's head on down the beach. We'll kill us another croc. Did he go out in the water? There's a bit of rock out there. Either that or that's crocodile sitting out there. What is that? That is a crocodile sitting out there. Level three. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, cool. Very cool. I like that. I like I like that when they're out there in the wild doing doing their thing, you know, being being what they are. I'm gonna go for a good-looking buzzard as opposed to a high-level buzzard. Our buzzard last season was kind of. A little bit dull. Oh, ho, ho, what have we here? Look at you. Level seven, huh? Don't think he's worth catching. Not at level seven. He's not going to be able to carry too much. There's ostrich over there, too. All right, very cool. We'll keep our eyes open for... The buzzard. Wow, just just keep on tearing into it. Plenty of salt here. Let's go check out the ostrich. Quite a few snakes I'm noticing. Level 10 female ostrich. Aren't you pretty? Look at you. Got rams down here. We got some cattle. What are you? Level 4 female vulture. Hmm. That is a nice looking cow. What do we have here? Chert and sandstone. Okay, so a different kind of stone. And flint. Lousy ants. I heard you clicking up to me. I'm trying to record the game sounds a little bit louder just so you guys get immersed in here with me a little bit more. I've noticed they've been a little bit faint. Is that our same rhino? It's a different one, but it's a lower, even lower level. I don't know that I've ever killed a rhino. I think these desert islands are really cool looking. The rhino right over there. That could be the one we were looking at. What do we got here? 13? That's an elephant. 
Well, that's an elephant coming over the hill. Oh, well, geez, okay. So we got elephants here, too. And let's try this again. Let's see if we get this guy. Oh, it's just an elephant. Okay, I thought I saw a rhino. Okay, that ostrich just... Something just... There's stuff dead up here. What is this? We got a dead ostrich. And a... Oh, level 24 wolf. Fifteen female. Now, from what I understand, if we ride an ostrich in the desert, although it's not going to give, it's not going to give us a whole lot of protection, they're very fast and they keep you cool. So they've got that going for them, which is pretty awesome, I think. A lot of crocodiles around here. Lots of crocodiles. Treasure map L nine. Okay. I need to get back on you. Ooh, what's this blue stone right here? Oh, I guess it's just the color of the water? That tricked my eyes. Keep your eyes open for maize, corn, or wheat. You guys spot it, let me know. You know how I can have my heads in the clouds sometimes. Not all the time. <laughs> H. H, wooden roots. Okay, so that's the same kind of wood there. We have chili seeds. If I'm not mistaken, that is the ostrich food, is the chilies. These blue rocks under the water, it's really fools. You're, you're, fools you how what it looks like. Uh, you, you think you know what you're looking at, and then you're not looking at what you think you're looking at. What is this here? That's bilberry. Okay, so that's bilberries as well. Uh, let's drop that from you. We could drop that, and we'll keep the meat. I think we're... How, how's her weight? It's about half full, huh? Hmm. Okay. Well, well, we'll we'll keep we'll keep pushing a little bit here. I thought it would just be easier for the, our first trip out on the island to bring tsunami out. They sure are awesome looking, aren't they? Rage. Can't hurt them when you hit them in the head. That weird. Oh, there's a lion down the beach here. <laughs> what do we got here? Level four. Eh. It's got a turtle in its mouth. Look at that. So we got lions. I wonder if I can scoop up this buzzard with my cage. Oh, tsunami! Oh, you weren't supposed to do that. You weren't supposed to eat that. <laughs> That's okay. I was just going to try it out. Tiger's got a level. Of course she does. Uh, let's give her more stamina. Uh huh, crush me. Now, are we looking at the same thing over here? Let's see. Oh, just just turn that off. Inventory. Let's take this off the hot bar. Put this back down here. Roots. Okay, so we're going to drop that for now. Again, like I said, if we can get hold of... Uh, we'll get Kodiak and the cart to come over here. We'll take Tsunami with and we'll grab up some of this stuff and put it on the ship.
Okay, looks like we're gonna get a chance to do this again. Stop doing that. Now, can I get this over the top? I don't think so. It's a little too high. That's okay. We will try to get one. We will try. I just, I'm running out of time, that's all. I don't think we've been down this way. Let's go ahead and uh, travel on down this way. Oh, I thought for sure it was... I think it landed. Uh, I just put her on passive. We don't want that. Uh, no, uh, here we go. Behavior. Neutral. Uh, we can't get her back on aggressive or attack your target or any of those things. There's another crocodile right there. Holy cow, it's just crocodile heaven. Oh, I thought it was dead. Got a second bite in on there. I'm <laughs> gonna drop some of this just so she's not overweight. Otherwise, most of the stuff we can keep on the ship, and it would be quite handy to have. I don't want to mess with the other crocodile. It can just eat that uh, snake if it wants to. Nope, it's coming after me. There's another crocodile. There's a snake messing with a turtle. Oh, you would take off just as I get off there. You... There's a lot of stuff on here that'll kill you. There's another crocodile right there. They're everywhere. Anything up here for us? Any interesting rocks? I don't see anything up here that uh, is of interest. Well, she's still hurting from that uh, that attack. Hmm. There's not much to look at. I don't think going to the water is such a great idea either. You know how to I mean? Jelly bean, you get the crocodile after you. Next thing you know, you got, you know, you're fighting in the water with a crocodile. Although I think she could probably take it. Fighting in the water is not all that bad. That red and blue raven with a little bit of purple on it looks pretty cool. This is spectacular. Look at that rock right there. That is pretty awesome, huh? Man, is it even safe in the, to go in the water to get these, these treasure maps? I don't know. It's a busy place around here. I'm a little surprised. I didn't think it was going to be nearly uh, as big as this here. I didn't know this was going to be this much stuff on the island. K-10, the islands were super tiny. I mean, really, really tiny. Ooh, look at you. You're fancy. Inventory. I keep putting the trap, the, the cage on. Let's get rid of the cage. Level four. Yeah. See, once I log out and come back in, they're all going to be swapped out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm on single player world, in case you want to know. 
Oh, that one's really nice. Look at this one. This one's got all kinds of color on it. Level 2. It's even worse. It's not your fault. I know it's not your fault. I know. I know. I know. Watch it. Watch it, bird. Uh, do we have any kind of different wood here? Ants are coming in. Aged wood. Aged wood. Okay. No. The answer is no. We should check the top of these rocks to see if there's anything up up here. There's bound to be a ramp that goes up that way. We'll just keep heading down this way. It's not a very big island. Oh, this is a beautiful spot, though. Look at this. Oop. There's another rhino. What's this one here? Level four. Level two. Hmm. Hmm. Little animals, but like I said just a second ago, they'll swap out once we log out and come back in. I've not seen any metal nodes either. Ooh, what do we have here? This is interesting. Poppy, huh? Oh. I believe the poppy is a medicinal. Oh my gosh. Which is nice and handy. A medicinal plant to find it out here is, is good. I think it's a medicinal plant. I'm pretty sure it is. And you need that for your med kits. I'm looking forward to building the um, the galleon. I really am. I think it's going to be fun. And I think it's going to be fun to sail it too. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to taking out the biggest ship that's available right now in the game and just doing some sailing and stuff. I'd like to sail around the world. H. Copper. Okay, so we're still on the copper. Okay. I was kind of hoping we're going to bump into tin, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Got wolves up here. What level are we got level wolves? That that twenty four we saw was the highest one I've ever seen. I think they don't really come very high level. Come on, wolfies! Can you even get to me? Double whammy, double dead. Let's go up here and see if there's any kind of rock or anything like that that's uh, tucked away up here. Crystal or any kind of stone, metal. Woohoo! Oh wow, look at that. We are in the desert, people. The desert. I gotta wrap it up there. I'm out of time. We'll do some more of this when we come back in the next episode. We'll explore, finish exploring this island, getting some resources put on the ship. And uh, we'll move forward from here. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share on the Radio Man 03. I want you to have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I do look forward to talking to you again next time. Nice. So we have a problem. Maybe you guys can help me with this. I know I've already said goodbye, but I just died on J10 on the island that we were on. And... I don't see our ship down here. I don't see anything down here. I see the bounty. I had to respawn on the bounty because as I reloaded onto the Revenge, the game froze up. And it, it just did the whole process where it's like supposed to spawn you and the screen turns white and it just would not go away. And then when I came back in, I had to back out, of course, and close out the game and come back in. Our ship is nowhere to be seen down here. And to be honest with you, I don't even know how to get closer to this stinking island. I can't get this to pull over and let me get to it so I can actually zoom in closer because it, you know, it pulls everything way out. I think we lost it. If I've lost this ship, I will be done playing for a little bit because that means we've also lost uh, Kodiak, Mr. Potts, a bunch of crew members, 
And you guys have told me this, as well as a ship full of stuff and a brand new ship that we just painted. So I don't know what to do that about. I could jump on, we could jump on this ship. We've got the bounty right here. We could go over and see if it's there. It'll take me absolutely forever to get there. Um, we still have all of this stuff here, but I'm extremely disappointed by this. And you guys have told me that it's a possibility. You've had it all happen to you. And uh, I've never had it happen to me. So I'm very disappointed by this. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, freezing up. Lion jumped and pulled me off of uh, Tsunami and just killed me quick. She was after it by the time I died, but, you know, too little too late. And then, of course, as I said, when I spawned back in, it uh, froze up and then everything disappeared. So I don't know what to do. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm the Radio Man 03 again. Have an awesome, fantastic, super day. And I look forward to talking to you next time.